G. Uh, my name is Ed Clemis. I'm an area sales manager, and I'm joined by uh, Bruce Baudet, a sales engineer, to assist me in explaining the, uh, the new TDA 50G. The following slides uh, will give you an overview. What we plan to cover today is an introduction of the product, features and advantages, and then uh, if you've been selling or promoting our TAW product, in, in particular the uh, 848, uh, this will show you some of the difference and enhancements uh, that the TDA50 has versus the uh, TAW 848. So we will start out now with uh, the fact that the TDA50G uh, is the same cabinet hardware as our previous generation TDA50. The hardware is, is the same. There are uh, a couple new cards, and there is some new software, but the cabinet and the hardware itself is, is the same. What we have is a diagram, and this is the back of the cabinet. And what we'll, we uh, will show you here are the standard, uh, what comes standard with the cabinet. There is a USB and an RS-232 port available on the left-hand side, and those are for programming purposes. We also have a music on hold port and a paging port built into the system as standard. So you can uh, connect a music on hold source of, of your choosing and also connect a paging system to the, to the cabinet. On the uh, side of the ports, the DHLC4, it is four super hybrid ports. This comes standard with every TDA50G. They call it a super hybrid port in that it can handle either a digital station an analog station. And Panasonic has a unique feature, which we call the XDP feature. It's unique to the Panasonic product line. And all, all Panasonic systems allow for digital telephones and digital station ports to allow for two digital stations. So you can actually take one digital phone, and in the back there's an additional port to plug in a second phone that you can program up as a unique extension to the system. With, that is done with a digital port. The super hybrid port will allow you to take a digital station port or a digital station and, and actually plug in a second digital phone to the back of that. And because it's a super hybrid port, it allows even a third port, in this case an analog port, to be plugged into the second digital station to allow for one additional port. So for these four super hybrid ports, each one can handle a digital station connected to another digital station connected to an analog port. So you can use it for actually three individual unique extensions on each one of those super hybrid ports. This comes with the cabinet. You cannot add any more super hybrid ports to the system, but you do get these four with the cabinet. Along with that, one of the differences between the TDA50 and the TDA50G is our four loop start CO line card. It now comes standard with caller ID. So out of the box, you're getting the four super hybrid ports, and now you're also getting four loop start CO line ports, and that comes standard with the caller ID uh, capability. And then uh, also indicated on, on this diagram is our initial uh, system initialized reset key, and also a slot for the SD card for backing up the programming. All of Panasonic systems have the ability of having a SD backup of the system programming and that's standard on the TDA50G. This is a list of the current cards that were available, and you'll see that on the bottom we've listed the one uh, additional new uh, uh, hardware uh, to the system, and that is an eight-channel decked cell station. Uh, we recently introduced uh, the latest or newest uh, wireless technology, and that's the decked. Uh, capability, which is a 1.9 gigahertz uh, frequency, and is designed to not to interfere with a Wi-Fi digital uh, data network. So in this case, we we've always had a two-channel uh, deck station available. Now we <coughs> are allowing with the TDA50G for you to use one of our eight-channel deck stations. And what this means is that eight wireless telephones can be on. Uh, online uh, taking calls or, or, or making intercom calls at the same time in that zone that has that eight-channel cell station. In the case of both of these cell stations, whether it's the two-channel or the eight-channel, they each require one digital station port for every two channels of wireless conversation. 
So on this slide, you see the T0155 two-channel deck station. That requires one digital station port to power up. The, the eight-channel uh, cell station requires four digital station ports to power those eight channels of wireless uh, communication. The rest of the cards were standard cards that were also utilized on the uh, TDA-50, the previous generation product. This chart indicates what type of station sets can be used on all the different types of cards on the TDA-50G. As I mentioned earlier on the previous slide about the digital hybrid line circuit, there's pretty much can cover our previous generation telephones, the 7600 series and the 7400 series digital telephones. But as you can see from this chart, it can also handle single line telephones. It can handle some of our proprietary analog phones from in this case, maybe the TAW848 uh, previous uh, phone systems, it can, it can use that and it can also power up our cell stations. And as you can see from this slide, there are other types of station cards available. And this slide shows you what type of station sets are, uh, are, are usable on those type of cards. OK, when it comes to enhancements uh, on the trunk and option card slots, we have actually two. Uh, we've introduced with the TDA50G the availability of a SIP DSP card. And the following slide will give you a, a diagram of it. And Bruce is going to give you a little bit more information on it at that point. But basically, if you're familiar with SIP trunking, it is a, a newer technology now available uh, to replace or to next generation of, of analog and digital trunking. Uh, you have CO, CO lines, analog CO lines available now. You have PRI, you have T1, and now you have the availability of SIP trunks, which are really data circuits carrying voice traffic. And it is uh, coming into its own. It's a, a newer technology that in the future years is definitely going to grow into a larger segment of our business. And we've introduced this card so you can incorporate now SIP trunks. It comes initially as a four-port card. And as the diagram in, in the next screen, as, and Bruce will explain, you can increase it up to eight channels for SIP trunking. The other enhancement we've had is in the optional card slots. We used to have a simplified voice message card. We've now enhanced it to be the enhanced, or ESVM2. And Bruce, if you would, at this point, uh, explain what the enhanced simplified voicemail card will give a user. The enhanced simplified voicemail card is an optional card that installs in the TDA-50. And it can provide for up to two channels or two voice paths of an auto attendant. And it works very similar to the voicemail, where I can call in, hear a greeting, dial an extension number, or use one-touch dialing to go directly to an extension or a group of phones. The same card can also be used for call queuing. In other words, if calls are ringing in and all the phones are busy or off hook, then you can hear a message that would put you into a time queue, such as all agents are currently busy, please hold. It could also be used for simple hospitality features, such as a wake-up call. In other words, at your desk, you could assign your phone to ring at a certain time, and you would hear the pre-recorded message. This, that's the first section of what the card has the capability of. And by the way, if the card is answering as an auto attendant, you could actually put a fax machine as an extension, and the card has a built-in fax switch, which would automatically send it to the fax. As far as a voice message system, it is a simplified voicemail system. It allows you to have up to 128 messages. Each phone could record their own greetings. You could call forward your phone to the voice message system. They'd hear, hear your greeting and leave a message. Once the message is left, it will light the large message wait light on your phone. And as soon as you go into the voicemail, it will provide you soft keys on the display of your phone to listen, to repeat, to call back the person. It does not have all the features of the current voicemail, the KX TVA50 or TVA200. And the fact that those machines have the capability of allowing us to make buttons on our phones, such as two-way record, live call screening, 
two-way record transfer. We don't have any of those high-end features, including no uh, emailing of voicemail messages. But it is very simplified, and it's good for four to five users in a very small environment. It could also be used as a whole house message center. Phone could ring X amount of times, nobody answers it, and it could go to a mean greeting stating you've reached the Smith residence, at which time they could leave a message. And at that time, you could light message wait lights on each phone if you programmed the buttons to be there. On the next slide, I believe we're going to see the SIP trunk card. This is, this is a new card that is currently available on any of the TDA50s as long as the software version has been uploaded or upgraded to the current software version. It is currently at version 5. So even if you had a TDA50 version 1 out there, it could be upgraded at no cost to you. The file is available on BTS Dealer to the latest version. Once you put this card in, it starts out with four SIP lines, and SIP stands for Session Initialization Protocol. There are quite a few different carriers that do handle SIP trunking, Verizon, AT&T, Broadbox, and we are certified on several of these different uh, companies. Once, once it is programmed up, you can still have up to 12 lines, standard incoming lines, plus up to eight SIP lines. So this takes a total number of lines on the switch now to 20. A SIP line is quite unique in the fact that it is way less expensive than a standard telephone line coming from a traditional telephone company. It gives you a lot of different features, such as DID, which means you could buy a block of numbers and everybody on the switch could have their own telephone number. It also carries name and number caller ID, and provides outgoing name and number caller ID. We're using the standard codex that most of the current carriers provide, so you don't have to add anything additional to this phone switch other than the card and the optional card if you want to go more than six SIP lines, I'm sorry, four SIP lines. And of course you would simply contact the carrier and it's now set up. On the next page. Okay, uh, to give you a, a, a encapsulation of uh, what we've talked about so far with the 50G, uh, the enhancements over our uh, previous generation TDA 50, we now have a built-in uh, caller ID card, and the fact is is that we in included a caller ID card with the trunk card now at no extra charge over the previous pricing of the TDA 50. So it's actually like an 18 percent reduction in the cost of the same system. All other features or all other cards are exactly the same as the current TDA 50G. Um, Bruce mentioned the fact that it is version 5 software that makes it into a TDA 50G. So as he mentioned earlier, anything that is previous to that in terms of uh, previous generation TDA 50 cabinets can be uh, upgraded, uploaded with the new software to, to bring it up to the TDA 50G cabinet. We've now offer, we now offer a SIP trunk card in case the client is interested in going with SIP trunks. We now are allowing for 8-channel deck station capability, so higher wireless, uh, more densely uh, uh, zoned uh, wireless applications. And also, uh, we've in, uh, enhanced the small voicemail system. We did not mention earlier, but because of the fact that uh, we can network these systems together utilizing our gateway channels and, and uh, uh, voice over IP networking, we've increased the, uh, with the version software, we've increased the five-digit mailbox option uh, for, for dialing and also eight-digit mailbox for extensions in other locations. These extension or these digit uh, expansions were designed specifically for when, when networking systems together and going beyond the two or three digit extension numbers typical with a, a single site application. And uh, I know Bruce was mentioning the enhanced software or enhanced small voicemail. We also now allow for dialing zero at the greeting of the small voicemail box, which 
was an enhancement over the previous generation's small voicemail. So those are the enhancements. This is a small chart that gives you uh, quickly the, the differences between, again, the 50G and the previous generation TDA50. And finally, um, again, some of you may have been selling and promoting our TA line uh, 848, and there were some similarities between the two products, certainly in the capacities. The TDA 50G is an 824 system, 8 line, 24 telephone system, or can be reconfigured to handle 12 lines and 20 uh, digital stations. But some of the differences between the two uh, aside from the fact that because they are the same price or are priced at the same price point now, TDA50 uh, has a two-year warranty versus the 848, which only had a one-year warranty. So we've doubled the, the warranty time frame. Uh, the TDA50G can have up to eight cell stations. And again, now we can utilize uh, the higher density cell station, the uh, A-channel, whereas the 848 can only have up to four cell stations uh, to it. Uh, again, the TDA50G can be configured two ways, as an 824 system or as a 1220 system. The 848 can only handle up to eight lines. So you've got those extra four lines, uh, which in a lot of cases comes in very handy and certainly helps to price up systems when you get into that nine and 10 trunk uh, size range. The TDA50G can handle single line telephones or per previous uh, analog proprietary telephones or digital proprietary telephones. Uh, whereas the 848 really can only handle uh, digital, or excuse me, uh, analog telephones. It could not handle digital telephones. Uh, TDA50G uh, can also handle SIP trunks. It can handle voice over IP lines in terms of gateway lines. And although it's not listed on the slide here, it also can handle IP telephones, IP uh, proprietary Panasonic telephones, all of which, again, the 848 could not handle. So these are a number of different uh, advantages that we have uh, now enhanced with the TDA50G uh, to give you even better uh, opportunities to sell the product.